Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala's video series on Amazon Web Services. Today we would be looking at the SSH users that are used to log into different Linux flavors in AWS. We would be covering Ubuntu, CentOS, RHEL and Amazon Linux 2. It's good to know that Amazon Linux 2 and RHEL are from the same family uh, and so does CentOS. So all the three are from the same family, but then the usernames used to SSH into them are a bit different. So let's quickly begin by creating our virtual machines. As you see, there are zero virtual machines running on my instance. So I would be first creating the Amazon Linux 2 virtual machine. I would be selecting, I would be, I would be selecting the instance type and then the configuration we would be using the first uh, VPC, I'll be selecting subnet A and would be creating the names that is CP Linux. This is Amazon Linux 2. The security groups we would be using something which is already there. I will be launching this instance quick and fast. As this instance is being launched, we would also go and launch two more instances the other one would be an ubuntu server so i would select ubuntu in the search box i'll get the server 22.04 which is the lts version available as of this recording i'm selecting the instance type again creating the instance storage is always there we would be going with the naming convention pp linux this is ubuntu and then i would go select the security groups review launch acknowledge that i have the key pair and launch the instance so as you see we already have two instances running i would be creating the next instance which is red hat enterprise linux i would be selecting rhel base which is this and we would be now selecting the instance type uh, the similar configuration that we have been doing the next instance that we would be launching is CentOS. Uh, if you are able to see that we are not able to find the Red Hat Enterprise Linux in the public place. For this, uh, we had to go to the marketplace. So I'll do the same thing for CentOS. I'll select this. It would open up a new window asking me to subscribe to the marketplace. Once I subscribe, I should be then able to find the instance i should then be able to find the ami and proceed with the setup so similarly we would uh, acknowledge the same and uh, we would now be getting a prompt that the instance has been created so while this instance is being created uh, let's quickly go to our terminal and uh, change the directory into which we have the ssh keys uh, the ssh key that we have used for setting up our ec2 instance is the first one as you see uh, this uh, instance is still being created while the fourth instance is being created let's quickly test the ssh on various uh, other instances so first we will check we would be checking the ssh on amazon linux 2 as you see we already have the ssh command given in the example and here the username that we are using is ec2-user so i click on this and i should be able to log into the amazon linux 2 virtual machine uh, i can do a cat etc os release and uh, we would be seeing that this is amazon linux 2 similarly if i connect to the Ubuntu virtual machine, which is this, I can connect to it using the Ubuntu user. So the user that is used for SSH into an Ubuntu virtual machine in Amazon in AWS is Ubuntu. So this is how we go inside the server and I could do a similar etc os release, uh, cat to the same and you 
we are currently on version 22.04 which is uh, the version name is jellyfish similarly if i go to the other instance which is red hat enterprise linux we could still connect to this and again the username that we see is ec2 hyphen user so let's connect to this and see if we are able to connect as you see the username that we got is ec2 hyphen user and if i do a cat etc os release i should be able to find the red hat enterprise linux server 7.7 .7 being used here so uh, the the final instance that we would be connecting is a centos one and if i go to here so this is giving us the username as centos and if we connect to this using the command i should be able to log into the centos machine so this is how we connect to the centos uh, machine with the centos user so these were the four linux machines that we covered under this video so for ubuntu server we need to connect using the ubuntu user for ssh into the centos machines we need to connect using the centos user for RHEL, we would be using EC2 hyphen user, and for Amazon Linux 2, also we would be using EC2 hyphen user. That's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're liking the content, please like and share the video, and also subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like these. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time.